Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the Promised Messiah Alaihi Salam, has pointed out those routes and has restored those signboards that give the direction for the route. The reason that Allah the Almighty sent the Promised Messiah and the Mahdi was to truly guide mankind that had gone astray with the passage of time. The Holy Prophet ﷺ had prophesied that gradually the Muslims would begin to forget their true teachings and suffer moral and spiritual decline. And then the advent of the Promised Messiah and Mahdi would take place. So we Ahmadis are fortunate that that Messiah and Mahdi was sent and we believed in him. Having believed in him, it is necessary to make wholesome and virtuous changes within ourselves because Allah does not care who is who. As during the times of the Holy Prophet وسلم, the one who was regarded as the most wise and intelligent, as I said earlier, because of his enmity to the Prophet وسلم, became or known as Abu Jahal, the father of ignorance. And the one who was a lowly slave became renowned as Sayyidina Bilal. So, if anyone has a status in the eyes of Allah, it is those who spend their lives in righteousness and in the acceptance of faith and in remaining steadfast in faith. In my previous address, I had also pointed out some good deeds that should be acquired because they are essential for personal, spiritual and national progress. Today also I shall mention a few commandments to which the Holy Quran draws our attention. Firstly, as I had said before, Allah the Exalted is not related to anyone and He has no concern with with who is rich and who is poor or who comes from which tribe. According to the Almighty Allah, His dearest is the one who is advanced in righteousness and good works. Regarding this, Allah says very clearly in the Holy Quran, Ya yuhan naso inna khalakna kum in zakarin wa unsa wa jalna kum shawubam wa kabayla لِتَعَارَفُوا إِنَّا أَكْرَمَكُمْ إِنَّ اللَّهِ أَتْقَاكُمْ إِنَّ اللَّهَ عَلِيمٌ خَبِيرٌ O mankind, we have created you from a male and female, and we have made you into tribes and sub-tribes that you may recognize one another. Verily, the most honorable among you in the sight of Allah is he who is most righteous among you. Surely Allah is all-knowing, all-aware. Hence, when people from various tribes, colors and nations are joining the Ahmadiyya Muslim Jamaat today, there is an open field for each and every one of them, but only he will attain nearness to Allah who walks along the path of righteousness and who tries single-mindedly to perform good deeds. There are various tribes settled in Nigeria. The worldly among them consider their own tribe to be superior than the others. All because of tribal enmity, they try to usurp the rights of one another. However, Allah the Exalted says that tribal and sub-tribal distinctions are so as to enable you to recognize one another whilst you were one people before that. Hence, 
this tribal discrimination in which some people engage in engage in is a sort of trial and ahmadi should pass through this trial as stated by the almighty allah that is differences should be confined to a means of recognition and no more than that if you exchange this for tribal animosity you will depart from the way of righteousness and once you depart from righteousness you will also be removed from attaining the nearness of allah mentioning this aspect the promised messiah al-islam has also stated god almighty is neither god almighty is neither pleased with you with your mere bodies nor your cars he always looks at righteousness the promised messiah al-islam adds after death cars disappear the cars are tribes Uh, the caste and tribes are classification tags and have nothing to do with allah the almighty love for god is created by righteousness and only uh, uh, and only that leads to higher spiritual ranks when we proclaim that we believe in and owe allegiance to the imam of the age who appeared according to the prophecies of the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam it only means that we pledge to reestablish the righteousness that had been forgotten by the world so that the faith of the holy prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam may be made firm and stable in my last address I stated how important it was for the believers to honor their covenants therefore every ahmadi be he a yoruba hausa fulani or from any other tribe or be he a national of another country european nigerian or pakistani should remember that he will have a value in the sight of allah only when he treads the path of righteousness his distinction will not be by reference to his tribe or his country but by his righteousness so remember that when a person was sent into this world he came from the one god who created the tribes and nations the one god is he who has also commanded that worship me alone who is the one without associate and to whom all of you shall return if anyone attains paradise it would be because of his good deeds and that i am the standard of his righteousness and if hell is someone's destiny then all those who are hell bound will have the same treatment meted out to them it cannot be that a person from such and such a tribe earns a lesser hell because of his misdeeds while another person's punishment for the same offense is more severe allah says that everyone is recompensed according to his own deeds all the laws made these days are made on the face of it to fulfill the requirements for justice it is now written it is not written that out of people with equivalent qualifications 